They don't call her the queen of reinvention for nothing. Madonna has been a fashion icon since she became famous in the mid-1980s. She has set fashion trends and boosted the careers of established as well as up-and-coming designers and throughout the span of her 40-year career has rocked every look imaginable from glamorous material girl to androgynous, s and western, hip-hop, disco, and everything else in between. To say she's made an impact on fashion would be an understatement. Her most popular styles are still widely copied and recognized today. Let's get into Madonna's style evolution and most iconic looks from the 80s to now. Madonna first burst onto the scene in 1984 and we were introduced to her style in her music videos for Lucky Star and Borderline where she wore her unique version of punk. In Lucky Star, she rocked some mesh knit tank top with her bra peeking through, fingerless lace gloves, and an armful of rubber bracelets. In Borderline, we see her in an oversized leather jacket with the same signature rubber bracelets, teased hair with an oversized bow that we saw in Lucky Star, this time with a boy toy belt that will later become popularized when she wore it in her live performance of Like a Virgin. More on that in a bit. The signature Madonna look spawned a legion of Madonna wannabes who copied her early style. Her style became so popular that stores like Macy's created Madonna Land where they sold clothing and jewelry similar to those worn by Madonna at the time and even held a look-alike contest in the store. This look would later inspire the Material Girl clothing line she would launch in 2010 with her daughter Lourdes. That craze skyrocketed when she performed Like a Virgin at the very first MTV Video Music Awards in 1984 where she wore a white lace corset and bridal ensemble topped with her boy toy belt and strands of pearls and rosaries. That same wedding dress later went to be displayed at the Hard Rock Cafe in Times Square in 2011 and has inspired endless Halloween costumes in the decades since. Madonna has always looked to fashion icons of the past to create a persona. In her 1985 video for Material Girl, she put her play on Marilyn Monroe's look from her film Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, wearing a strapless pink evening gown with matching long gloves, draped in lavish diamond necklace and earrings. She took notes from Marilyn once again at the 1991 Academy Awards where she made an appearance with another pop legend that you might have heard of in a strapless white sequined Bob Mackie dress and Harry Winston diamonds. She solidified her style icon status when she appeared in the 1985 movie Desperately Seeking Susan. But as soon as teenage girls around the globe started getting that look down, Madonna was already onto the nets and reinvented herself once again. The Glamour Girl look completely disappeared in 1986 in the Papa Don't Preach music video, where she took on a new tomboyish look with a pitsy bleach bond haircut along with jeans and a leather jacket. And who can forget her repping her roots in the Italians Do It Better t-shirt that she made so popular. The video also featured scenes of her singing and dancing in a black corset and matching pants, accessorized only with a thick black belt. And on that same album, she surprised fans with a softer, more feminine 1950s inspired look for the True Blue music video where we saw her wearing styles that recalled back to those times, but with an 80s twist. Peep the leggings under that flared dress. So a common theme you'll see in Madonna's style and music throughout her career are religious references, particularly Catholicism, which has always been an overarching theme in Madonna's music for when she wore that wedding dress, accessorized with a neck full of rosaries and large cross jewelry at the 84 VMAs, and there was no signs of that stopping with the release of her Like a Prayer music video. In fact, some fashion historians credit her with normalizing the rosary as a fashion accessory and needless to say the Catholic Church is not her biggest fan. <laughs> the video was controversial of course, but she kept her outfit simple and subtle with a lace trimmed black fitted slip dress and a crucifix necklace. One thing we love about Madonna is she'll never allow herself to be put in the box. In the late 80s and early 90s, she switched it up once again with a more androgynous look by imitating the 1930s screen siren Marlena Dietrich, which can be seen in her Express Yourself video where she's wearing menswear-inspired suits and in her famous 1990 video for Vogue. 
Once again, there was controversy following Madonna over the see-through top she wore. It's crazy to think how no one bats an eye over see-through tops these days, but in the year 1990, it was enough to spark outrage. In that same video, she paid tribute to the famous 1939 horse pee horse photo of the back of a woman in a loosely laced corset. The corset became a signature item in Madonna's early 90s looks. Most notably, she collaborated with the French fashion designer Jean-Paul Gaultier for her 1990 Blonde Ambition World Tour where he designed her famous pink cone bra. This led to a trend of underwear as outerwear that we still see today on celebrities and in street fashions alike. As the 90s progressed, Madonna started taking fashion inspiration from Eastern cultures, which can be seen in the 1993 girly show World Tour and even more after the birth of her first child Lourdes. She ushered in a new style era with her Ray of Light album and continued her Eastern inspired looks when she performed at the 1999 Grammys in the same red kimono that she wore in her Nothing Really Matters video. Even with the new millennium, Madonna did not slow down. In September of 2000, she released her 8th studio album titled Music where we saw her go cowgirl chic in western styles. In the Don't Tell Me music video, we saw her wearing plaid, dark wash flared jeans, and we can't forget about the chaps. <laughs> Madonna took the traditional country look and flipped it on its head. She also wore a cowboy hat on the cover of the music album and in the music video for the single, which, by the way, if you've never heard it, it's the furthest thing from a country song. By this time, Madonna was already the full-fledged legend that we know her as today. And in 2003, she performed with Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera in a full circle moment where both pop stars paid tribute to Madonna's Like a Virgin costume, while Madonna herself wore a top hat and tails over a black corset. In 2005, we came upon her Confessions of a Dance Floor era, where we saw Madonna channeling 70s icons like Farrah Fawcett with her hair and disco queens with leotards and cut off tights paying homage to those days. Her hung up music video brought Lycra back into the public consciousness in a way that we've never seen since the mid 80s aerobics craze. In 2010, Madonna and her daughter Lourdes released a clothing line called Material Girl which was inspired by Madonna's iconic styles but with a modern twist incorporating her daughter's own taste. It was sold exclusively at Macy's, the same place where Madonna Land took place in the 80s. Talk about a full circle moment. In 2012, she showed us that she still had it after all of those years when she performed at the Super Bowl that year, decked out in Givenchy. The 12 minute performance had three costume changes. She kicked things off with an entrance fit for a queen with a hand embroidered gold cape over her black dress with a gold pleated overskirt as the entrance for Vogue. Side note, there was no shortage of gold in these outfits. This was then followed by a black silk mini dress with a hand studded belt and she finished off with a sequined choir robe for Like a Prayer. In 2015, she released her Rebel Heart album, which recalled back to the styles we saw in her 1980s hit La Isla Bonita, where we saw her wearing a beautiful red flamenco dress, and her love for Latin-inspired styles continued in her Living for Love music video, where we saw her wear Spanish matador styles, and of course corsets, because it is Madonna. Even at 56 years old at the time, she was killing it and showing no signs of slowing down. In the past decade, we've seen her circle back to the styles that she made iconic on numerous red carpets. For the 2016 Met Gala themed Heavenly Bodies, everyone was awaiting Madonna's arrival. After all, her and the Catholic Church have been going at it pretty much her entire life, and you would think Madonna of all people would go all out for this theme, but to everyone's surprise, she came in an understated all-black Jean-Paul Gaultier dress, and even moving into this new decade, we're still at the edge of our seats anticipating what's next for her. It's not the first time no. I've come <laughs> dressed in, I mean, when I first started I was covered in rosaries, so nothing's changed really. Religious themes have always been a part of my work and always inspired me and in everything that I do, my music, my creativity, the, the way I dress. And now we come to her most recent era as Madame X, which she described in an interview as a secret agent traveling the world under the code name, an alter ego of sorts, not that she needs one. The teaser trailer for the album includes Madonna in a range of costumes from Western Bride to classic film noir styles. 
Just when you think you've got her figured out, she keeps switching it up on us and that's why she'll always be known as one of the biggest icons in not just music, but fashion as well. Madonna's influence on fashion has been consistent since the beginning of her career. She's set trends and catapulted the careers of the various designers that she's worn. Even though her signature styles changed throughout the span of her career, Madonna has always played by her own rules, making her a permanent icon of modern fashion and her influence can still be seen today on celebrities, runway shows, and street style. So tell me what you think about this video down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something new and I want to hear from you. Tell me what was your favorite Madonna style era. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you back here next time.